The Estee Lauder Companies Inc. stylized as Estee Lauder is a multinational manufacturer and marketer of prestige skincare, makeup, fragrance and hair care products, based in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. The company owns a diverse portfolio of brands, distributed internationally through both digital commerce and retail channels. Topic history The company began in 1946 when Estee Lauder and her husband Joseph Lauder began producing cosmetics in New York City. They first carried only four products, cleansing oil, skin lotion, super-rich all-purpose creme, and creme pack. Two years later, in 1948 they established their first department store account with Saks Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. Over the next 15 years, they expanded the range and continued to sell their products in the United States. In 1960, the company started its first international account in the London department store Harrods. The following year it opened an office in Hong Kong. In 1964, they introduced Aramis, a line of fragrance and grooming products for men named after an exotic Turkish root originally used as an aphrodisiac. In 1967, Estee Lauder herself was named one of ten outstanding women in business in the United States by business and financial editors. This was followed by a Spirit of Achievement Award from Albert Einstein College of Medicine at Yeshiva University in 1968. In that year, the company expanded again, opening Clinique, a dermatologist-guided drive. Norman Orontrike, allergy-tested, fragrance-free cosmetic brand. Estee Lauder's Clinique brand became the first women's cosmetic company to introduce a second line for men when, in 1976, they began a separate line called Skin Supplies for Men, which continues to be sold at Clinique counters worldwide. In 1981, the company's products became available in the Soviet Union. In the 1990s, brand acquisitions and licensing agreements contributed to explosive growth as the company transformed from a family-owned business to a publicly traded, family-controlled organization. The decade opened with the creation of Origins, the first wellness brand in U.S. department stores. The first licensing agreement for fragrances was with fashion designer Tommy Hilfiger in 1993, followed by Kitan, an Italian fashion house 1995, and with American fashion designer Donna Karen .Brand acquisitions began with an investment in the Toronto-based MAC Cosmetics in 1994, which the company then acquired in 1998. Bobby Brown Cosmetics, designed by the celebrated makeup artist, was acquired in 1995, as was La Mer, along with the original recipe for its supreme luxury product, Creme de la Mer, containing the nutrient-rich Miracle Broth. The company ventured into its first hair care and holistic beauty brand with Aveda in 1997. The renowned fragrance house Joe Malone London was acquired in 1999. On November 16, 1995, the Estee Lauder companies went public on the New York Stock Exchange at $26 a share, $6.50 on a post split basis. Acquisitions and licensing continued in the 2000s as the Estee Lauder companies bought a majority interest in Bumble and Bumble, the trendy hair care salon, and completed its acquisition in 2006. An exclusive global licensing agreement was signed with fashion designer Michael Kors. Three. Designer Tom Ford begins a project with the company and later an agreement was signed with him 2005 to develop and distribute fragrances and cosmetics under the Tom Ford Beauty brand. On July 1, 2010, the company acquired Smashbox Beauty Cosmetics, Inc., a brand created in Smashbox Studios in Culver City, California, by brothers Dean and Davis Factor as in Max. On October 28, 2011, Aramis and Designer Fragrances, a division of the Estee Lauder Companies Inc., and Tory Burch LLC announced the signing of a multi-year agreement for the exclusive worldwide license of the Tory Burch fragrance business. This partnership marked Tory Burch's first step into the beauty industry. The first Tory Burch fragrance products were introduced in 2013. In 2012, the company launched AERIN Beauty, a luxury lifestyle beauty and fragrance brand inspired by the signature style of its founder, Aaron Lauder. In 2014, the company acquired two insider beauty brands, Rodan Olio Lusso, a skin care brand renowned for its luxury face oil, and Le Labo, a fragrance and sensory lifestyle brand. In 2015, the company acquired Editions de Parfums Frédéric Mal, a fragrance brand, and GLAMGLOW, a Hollywood skin care brand. In 2016, the company acquired Becker Cosmetics, their first color cosmetic group acquisition since Smashbox in 2010. In November 2016, the company made its largest acquisition to date by acquiring California based cosmetics company Too Faced for $1.45 billion. The company subsequently promoted Israel Asser as vice president. Topic. Marketing 
The Estee Lauder brand has had sometimes iconic spokesmodels, sometimes referred to simply as faces. Past faces for Estee Lauder include Karen Graham, Bruce Boxleitner, Sean Casey, Willow Bay, Paulina Porikova, Elizabeth Hurley, Carolyn Murphy. Supermodel Leah Kebid was the first African American face of Estee Lauder, Anya Rubik, and actress Gwyneth Paltrow. As of 2008, the main spokesmodel for Estee Lauder was supermodel Hilary Roda. In 2010, the company added three more faces to the roster, Chinese model Lu Wen, Puerto Rican model Joan Smalls, and French model Constance Yablonsky. In 2015, Estee Lauder signed model and social media sensation Kendall Jenner to introduce a new generation of beauty enthusiasts to the brand. In 2017, the company announced Violette Surratt as their global beauty director. Topic. Operations and finances Topic. Finances For fiscal year 2016, the Estee Lauder companies achieved net sales of $11.26 billion, a 4% increase compared with $10.78 billion in the prior year. Net earnings for the year were $1.11 billion, a 2% increase compared with $1.09 billion last year, and diluted net earnings per common share rose 5% to $2.96, compared with $2.82 reported in the prior year. As of 2018, Estee Lauder companies ranked 258 on the Fortune 500 list of the largest United States corporations by revenue. Topic. Board of Directors Current members of the Board of Directors of Estee Lauder Companies Inc. are, Charlene Barshevsky, Rosemarie Bravo, Lynn Forrester de Rothschild, Fabrizio Frieda, Paul J. Friberg, Wei Sun Christiansen, Melody Hobson, Irvin Hockaday, Jane Lauder, Leonard A. Lauder, Ronald S. Lauder, William P. Lauder, Richard Parsons, Barry Sternlicht and Richard F. Zanino. Topic. Executive management Leonard A. Lauder is Chairman Emeritus. William P. Lauder is Executive Chairman. Fabrizio Frieda is President and Chief Executive Officer. Topic. Breast Cancer Awareness Campaign BCA. In October 1992, the BCA campaign was launched by Evelyn Lauder Estée's daughter-in-law who co-created the Pink Ribbon with Self magazine as a symbol of breast health. Since then, millions of people globally have heard the message about the importance of breast health and early detection can save lives. The Estée Lauder Company's annual breast cancer awareness campaign involves all of the 18 brands that make up the Estée Lauder Companies. They collectively represent the Breast Cancer Research Foundation's first and largest corporate supporter. Estee's daughter-in-law created BCRF's signature pink ribbon. Over $10 million were raised for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation between 1993 and summer 2003. Another $1 million were raised from their retail partners between July 2002 and summer 2003. Topic. Brands The Estee Lauder Company's brands include Topic. Controversies Topic. SOPA Estee Lauder companies appeared on lists of major companies supporting SOPA, the controversial, but unsuccessful, congressional anti-piracy bill that was considered overreaching by critics. Topic child labor In 2001, it was reported that children were discovered working in a factory in Cambridge, New York making products for Origins, one of Estee Lauder's natural products brands. The contracted company was Common Sense Natural Soap and Body Care, owned by a group led by cult leader Yonek Jean Spriggs. Estee Lauder says it immediately moved to terminate the contract with the manufacturer it had been in business with for five years, claiming it was totally unaware prior to the initial inspection. Topic: Animal testing. 
The Estee Lauder Companies performs non-animal and human volunteer testing to assess product safety and efficacy. The Estee Lauder Companies does perform animal testing where required by law. The Chinese government requires testing on animals for many cosmetic products. This causes controversy for smaller brands that are cruelty-free, but were bought out by Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder becomes the parent company of the smaller brand and profits through the smaller brand. Topic. Boycott and anti-boycott Since at least February 2001, Estee Lauder and its brands have been the target of a boycott campaign led by pro-Palestine activists who have targeted the corporation because of the pro-Israel activities of Ronald Lauder. In June 2003, the San Francisco-based Queers Undermining Israeli Terrorism quit took up the boycott with their Estee Slaughter campaign. The boycott has generated an anti-boycott campaign by supporters of Israel. 